February, uh, February 25th in uh, Britain, Europe. Went yeah. five months in the States, and uh, well, right up to now. Uh, it's a lot of work on the road, summer. isn't it? Yeah, about nine months. Yeah. Are you tiring of it yet? Um, You're looking for a holiday? No, I got just got bored. We just had a five week. No, no you did have a break. Five days off. Five days. Um, <laughs> Ooh, big break. Weeks. No. Uh, on the way across from America, we yeah. stopped in uh, in Hawaii. And then they bored you? Yeah, I came, here, I came here to Sydney to do loads of interviews because I got bored stiff sitting in the sun. I hate sunbathing. Yeah. Where did you get the title Air Raid Siren? I haven't heard any of those interviews you've done, <laughs> so tell me. And I guess a lot of um, people out there would like to know. Well, it, it, it started out from some guy who didn't actually, um, was less than complimentary about my, uh, my singing. <laughs> yeah. Made, yeah, he said something like, this, you know, the new singer sounds like he's putting all the songs to an air raid siren in a cement mix or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, I thought it was pretty funny, and everybody else did, so they called me the air raid siren. So I don't mind, you know. Steve, when the band came together, which was, what, about four years ago? Five years no, about ago? nearly seven years ago. Seven now? Yeah. You, how did they come about selecting a name Iron Maiden? Well, it's, um, I don't know, if, you know, it's like a medieval torture device. I don't know if you knew that. You explain it. Well, it's like a big case with spikes and it. You just stick someone inside it and then close, you know, spikes right right the blood runs out. Or Real nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Were you into the medieval thing? Or um, how did it, that, you know, yeah, his like, idea was? I like quite a lot of sort of medieval music and stuff and, and old films with that sort of thing in it. And, uh, I like sort of Jeff O'Toole, do a lot of medieval, medieval stuff, I really like them. Now, now the change in membership, what brought that about? Was there a, a break of some time or did um, you just decide you'd change every couple of days? Well, Paul didn't really like, um, the old singer Paul didn't really like touring and, and we took, I mean like this month, this year we'd sort of two in ten months and last year we did about seven months. Yeah. And uh, he got really sort of tired of it and after a couple of months he always wanted to go home and that, you know, so he wasn't really getting into it on stage and so we sort of decided it was like a mutual thing to spit up. And it's only uh, the one guy that's changed. Well, we've had a couple of other changes before that, but um, Clive joined us about, the drummer joined us about three and a half years ago. No. And Adrian joined us, the other guitarist uh, joined us about two and a half years ago. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. been pretty stable for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Where did this tour go to first and what countries have you done up till now in the nine months? Um, England. Started off in England, yeah. um, then we Europe. went to the rest of Europe, like Germany, right. France, and Spain. Well, and the land was very big there, correct? Yeah. Right. And uh, well, then we did five months in America. The five months through the States, was that all over or just... Oh yeah, all over. Canada, 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 Canada as well. What was the reaction there? Oh, uh, right. Canada actually was our, uh, I think it's our first platinum album. Yeah? No, it ain't. So you've just got no, one out here. Is it Australia? In actual fact, I think it's... Yeah, yeah, but it's just got yeah. a platinum, and that's what I was going to yeah. say. Oh, yeah. which, which do you think is your biggest market? Obviously now we've just established it's Australia followed by Canada. Would that be right? Um, well, in terms, in, in terms, terms of, of yeah. yeah, in terms of probably a sort of like gold, platinum, and all the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, Australia is is fairly, been fairly outrageous. I mean, considering that the first two albums uh, didn't do anything, right? Well, 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 a lot of existed, and this album is yeah, uh, and, uh, it's incredible. Let's have a look at Run to the Hills. Stay with us for a little while if you can. Right. Got a bit of time up there, You're going to sweat to death in that uh, leather jacket when you get outside. I tell you what, with this weather, eh? But, the, um, but all the rest of the new stuff they play has got to be kind of formula rock, you know? Yeah. Um, because all the people who listen to Zeppelin have obviously grown up and now buy lots of pimple cream and toothpaste for their kids and all the rest right. of that. Right. Well, they're trying to sell them, you know, mm. on their uh, adverts and things. So that's all they're interested in. So we have a problem with radio worldwide, eh? Yes. Oh, is with this form yes. of music. When you're on stage, how many lights do you use? Some incredible figure. Oh, I don't know exactly how many. Yeah, it's, it's really uh, Reading, Reading, right now, Reading was a bit of a record because we used about 500,000 watts, half a million watts of light. Do you know what temperature it would be on stage while oh. you're working? Is anyone... <laughs> H-O-T. Actually, no one's actually measured it. No one's no, no. No. We measure everything else. We measure the number of dB. We usually drip when we sweat out a couple yeah. of numbers. So. Yeah. yeah, with the gear, do you lose weight? Do you... Uh, sort of come off about three or four kilos lighter. Yeah, I suppose, we, suppose we must do a little bit. Yeah, we put it back on afterwards when we're yeah. drinking. <laughs> right. In the bar, yeah. Yeah, with water or, or, or problem, liquid yeah. straight away would put it back on, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> get around that as quick as I can. Got the <laughs> do you, do you do anything prior to going on stage having to work under those conditions that, you know, to prepare yourself? Um, physically, I mean. Keep yourself in shape generally a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it helps. What do you do outside of the band? What, what are your pastimes? 
Um, I'm really into football, soccer, I don't know what you call it either. Right. And uh, yep. tennis and most sort of sports, really. Anyone particular soccer team you follow? Oh, yeah, West Ham United. West Ham, right. Yeah. And yourself, then? Oh, water sports. What is sport? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said any more than that. <laughs> what was the weather like in America before you came to Um Actually, actually the, the bad weather was sort of following us around everywhere. It was yeah. ra raining everywhere. Um, yeah. It seemed to follow us around. It was all right in Texas. Like yeah. We got to Hawaii. It chucked it down for about uh, five, six days. Was that warm Monsoons, then? Monsoons, thunderstorms. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's outrageous. So you've walked into here and all of a sudden you get the hot weather. Yeah. yeah. 30s and 31s and 32s. Yeah. How do you handle that? Do you, do you oh, like that great. change? Of temperature yeah, I'm going to put my jacket off when I get outside. I don't know how to handle it. You know. <laughs> You'll have to, I tell you. I've got more to talk to you about. We'll have a look at another song. Number of the Beast. ACDC and, and Rose Tattoo that I've actually sort of seen. Right. Men at work we saw over in the States. Yeah. You know, because they were, they were doing a tour and they were really big. Do you think it's... Uh, I didn't see legs? I didn't see them, what, Men at Work? Yeah, no, I mean, they are seen as, as such. In the yeah, I mean, it's um, I, unbelievably inventive. I mean, considering yeah, it's like a population of 15 million, I mean, the, the diversity of music and the quality is incredible. Where did you pull women women in uniform from? Who uh, heard that? So where did you pull women from? <laughs> 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 right. Actually, he was saying about the bands, but uh, some of the old Skyhook stuff was really good, and that's where we got it from. So you're going through yeah. that and you started on yeah. doing the song. Yeah. I've got to tell people what will be on next week very quickly. And Hot Chocolate uh, era will be in. Hall and Oates will be in. Status Quo, we we'll have a couple of members out of Status Quo. And we'll also have uh, the lady and the guys out of the motel. So if you can catch us next week. Tonight on After Dark, Lisa Forrest, before she leaves for America. Great swimmer that won medals at the Commonwealth Games. And the Riptides are going to mix music with sport. And tonight, the Betsy in North Sydney. You'll see you there, along with Rock the Groove. Guys, we've got to say goodbye. We'll go out with the Gypsy Fleetwood Mac, Steve and Bruce. Good luck on the Australian visit, eh? Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. To people at home, same time. Uh